MyServiceDesk.com, a cloud-based IT service management solution powered by SupportWorks. Best Practice ITSM that delivers value in days, not weeks. This video will show you how to manage change requests within MyServiceDesk.com. MyServiceDesk.com provides a flexible way for managing change. We can log a new change request from here or view existing changes on the My Changes tab. We can also view upcoming changes in a calendar view. To view any of the changes, I simply click on any of these links. The last update tells me what activity has been carried out against the change, and the original description tells me that this change is to upgrade the memory on the Exchange server. The stage area is grayed out, and we can check on the progress by clicking the Progress button. The Workflow Progress tells me the request has been acknowledged and is currently with the Change Advisory Board for review and authorization. Because this request is with the CAB for review, we have an Authorization tab, and I can see the number of points required to authorize or reject this change. Because 100 points are required, Keith and one of his colleagues needs to authorize this request for it to progress any further. Clicking on the Change Schedule tab shows me the activities that need to be carried out for this change to be progressed to the appropriate stage. The Assessment tab provides further insight. I've got instructions to look at the Impact tab for further information, and here we can see the CIs to be changed, the CIs affected by the change, services, associated releases, affected customers, and a host of other information that is useful in terms of assessing the impact of this change. Here on the Reference tab, we have a Risk Assessment document which has been linked to this change request. We are also provided with some backout details, which give me a summary of the steps that can be taken if this change request were to fail during implementation. Once a change request has been authorized by the approvers, the Stage tab tells me that the CAB has now authorized this change, and my next step may be to raise a release request based on this change. The new release request inherits all the information from the change request, so we can see the change request, any known errors, or any incidents that will be automatically resolved, closing the loop once this release has been implemented. Finally, the Impact tab tells me exactly who's going to be affected by this particular release, and we can keep the customers up to date once the release request is implemented.